Hey everybody. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be testing not this custom homemade prop or the motor, but this blue motor mount here um, is just a test rig and all it is is to show how strong 4130 chromoly steel is um, that's TIG welded. So this back plate here is an eighth inch thick. This right here is an eighth inch thick. And then the tubing here is half inch with a wall thickness of 0 0.028 inches. So um, on my Facebook, I had posted a motor mount and hopefully you see it over here. And I had a couple of people send me private messages that basically it wouldn't work. And one person actually posts that they think that uh, the metal would start to crack. So um, I get really sensitive to things where people make statements that are totally unqualified. And what I mean by that is that I don't care if you're a, you're a metallurgist, I don't care if you got a PhD in engineering, if you haven't physically done it and tested it yourself, it doesn't count to me. And I test just about everything I do. I have made in my life an absolute boatload of things using 4130 chromoly steel. I actually weld an entire airframe for an ultralight, but before that I did go-kart frames and buggy frames, um, but those were MIG welded, uh, those weren't TIG welded. But um, and then the question came up about the two screws holding this in. Well, and, and I'm not trying to be harsh on anybody, but you don't even know what these screws are made out of. They're actually uh, screws that are made for your, your deck. Um, these, these are hardened steel. Um, I take a 48 inch crowbar and try to pull the head off this and it pulls the entire screw out of the wood before it breaks the head. So then I decided to put this into a piece of eighth inch chrome molly, weld it and try to break off the head. And, um, you know, with an eight foot bar on it, a cheater bar, I couldn't break the head off this. So I get really sensitive to people making statements without actually doing it themselves, without actually knowing what they're talking about. So this is just a test to show that this chrome molly here is stronger than you could imagine. Now I understand most RC or radio control airplane people work in plywoods and woods and carbon fibers. That's what I've done. And very few are TIG welding stuff. But this is to really show how strong this little bitty ass piece of metal is. Um, I'm going to run this up to about 2,500 watts and uh, uh, maybe 3,000. I've had it up to 3,000 before. Um, but I'm going to run this at a whole bunch of different RPMs and see if I can try to find the point where we get any oscillations or anything into it and just see what happens. Um, but I'm 99% sure this is going to work perfect. So hope you enjoy this video. Rock on.
so I have done two or three hours of testing on this and as I look at the mount there is no cracked paint or anything going on so I think the mounts held up good the only way I could get the prop to go totally out of balance was putting a 632 bolt and then drilling it through the carbon fiber prop and putting it right there because um, I had filled up the end of the blade with uh, epoxy and it just didn't throw it out of balance enough so I put a 632 bolt in there and uh, it worked pretty good so uh, I tell you everybody I think this is stronger than hell so uh, all you naysayers out there that thinks this is going to come apart and I mean keep in mind there's there's uh, six of these holding a motor that's only twice as powerful as this onto my airplane this is just one so rock on